Welcome to Moomoo Math and Science. In this video, I'd like to talk about the difference between ionic and covalent bonding and also how you can tell them apart from their formula. Ionic bonds are formed from metals and nonmetals, or a metal and a polyatomic ion, which are typically made of nonmetals. Covalent bonds are formed from two or more nonmetals. If you look at the periodic table, you can locate this stair step. Elements to the left of the stair step are metals, except for hydrogen, which is a nonmetal, and to the right are nonmetals. So you can look at the chemical formula and see if you have a combination of metals and nonmetals. Let's look at some examples of ionic bonds. Sodium chloride, NaCl, it's made of sodium, which is a metal, and chlorine, which is a nonmetal. Potassium bromide, it's made of potassium, which is a metal, and bromine, which is a nonmetal. What about this compound? It has more than two elements, like the previous examples. Lithium nitrate. It's made of lithium, which is a metal, and two nonmetals bonded together called nitrate, which is a polyatomic ion, which are elements bonded together but act as one. I deal with these types of ionic bonds in another video. But again, it's a metal and nonmetal bonding together, so it's an ionic bond. Now, what about sulfur dioxide? It's made of sulfur and oxygen, which are both nonmetal, so it's a covalent bond. What about H2O? They are connected because they are sharing electrons, and this holds the compound together. So, how are the atoms held together in these different compounds? Let's look at covalent bonds first. Compounds with covalent bonds are held together because they are sharing electrons. Let's take a look at water. They are connected because they are sharing electrons, and this holds the compound together. Now let's look at sodium chloride, which is held together by an ionic bond. Chlorine wants one electron, so it takes one electron from sodium. As a result, sodium and chlorine become ions, which is an element with a positive or negative charge. The sodium becomes a positively charged ion called a cation, and chlorine becomes a negatively charged ion called an anion. Now you have a negative and positive charge attracted to one another, and this bonds the element together. So how can you remember the difference? With a covalent bond, I think of co-presidents, which share the power, or you cohabitate with someone, so you share a space. And with ionic, I think, I want your electron, which results in an ion. Thanks for watching, and remember, kindness multiplies kindness. Kind someone.